So in this tutorial, we're going to look at tests for congruence. Uh, congruent triangles are exactly the same, same size, same shape. And there are five standard tests, and we must use one of those. Don't worry, that sounds like a lot, but actually we'll see that some of them are pretty much the same. Okay, so you either have to have an angle between two sides, which you know are the same in each triangle, that's side angle side, or a side between two angles, or in fact uh, two angles and another side, okay? Or, and this is sometimes the easiest one, if you can show that all three sides are the same in each triangle, so each pair of sides is the same, then that will do as well. And then there's the sort of the special case one, if you have a right angle triangle and you can show that the hypotenuse and one of the other sides is the same in each triangle, then that's also a test for congruence. Now actually we can simplify this a little bit because as long as you have at least one side the same in each triangle, all you have to do is show that two other things are the same, either two angles, two other sides, or a side and an angle, and it will fit into one of these three things. So bottom line, if you can show that uh, there is a pair of sides the same in the two triangles and any two other things, you're there. Right, let's have a look at this question. Um, just before we do that, let's have a look at this bit at the bottom. There are all sorts of ways you can show that things are the same. There might be parallel lines in your question. There might be a degree of symmetry. There might be isosceles triangles. There might be circle theorems. Anything you can use from the question to help you show that things are the same is fair game. Right, let's have a look at this one then. So we have two squares, the slightly bigger one here and the slightly smaller one here, A, B, C, G and D, E, F, G. And we also have a right-angled triangle in between them. And we're asked to show that, or to prove that, C, F, G, which is that, that's this one here, C, F, G, and, and I'll highlight it in a different colour, A, D, G, we're asked to show that those two triangles are congruent. In other words, they are exactly the same shape and size. Now, the thing to do here is to look for obvious things that are the same. And you can see, because I've highlighted them in different colours, uh, quite quickly that GD is equal to GF. And why is that the case? That's because they are two sides of a square. So we've already got one side the same. GD is the same as GF. And by the same logic, AG in the red triangle is going to be equal to GC in the blue triangle. And again, because they are sides of a square, and so they are the same length. So we've got two sides, uh, two equivalent sides the same in our triangles. So we could either take the angle between them, or we can take the longest side. Well, if you look at the longest sides, AD and CF, I think that's looking a little complicated uh, because although CF is part of a right angle triangle, right angle at E, AD isn't. So let's explore the angle possibilities. Well, the angle between the two red sides we've talked about, GA and GD, is this angle here. Okay, and the angle between the two blue sides that we've talked about is this angle here. And can we see that they are the same? Well, I think it's pretty clear they're the same because they both made up of a right angle, in the red case AGC and in the blue case FGD, and the same angle DGC, that's this one in here, that little angle in there, uh, and so they are the same size. Now, one of the problems with proof is can we explain that? Well, let's do the blue thing first, and I'll write it in blue. So we can say that the angle CGF is equal to 90 plus, that's the right angle from the triangle, plus CGD. And then from the red triangle we can say that AGD is equal to 90, that's the right angle from 
the bigger square, plus the same angle, C, G, D. And so that allows us to say that C, G, F is equal to A, G, D. And now we have side, angle, side. Okay, and that is G, D, angle, uh, A, G, D, and then A, G, that's side, angle, side, and one triangle, and G, F, G, C, and C, G, F in the other triangle. And we have proved that those things are the same. And all we need to do now is quote that rule, side, angle, side, so we can say S, A, S, that's all you need to say, means that the two triangles are congruent. Okay, sometimes it's very obvious that things are the same, but we do have to be able to explain why they are the same, and that is the difficult bit.